Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show you how to make a multi-ISO bootable USB drive on Kali Linux. So let's start. Ventoy is a free an open source utility used for writing image files such as .iso, .wim, .img, .bhd, and .efi files onto storage media to create bootable USB flash drives. So you have to click on the download tab to download the Ventoy. Now here you can see Ventoy is available for Windows and Linux. So here you have to click on the second option. Now here you can download the file from here directly. Or you can download it by the wget command. I am using the wget command. So open your terminal. Type the wget command and paste the copied link. And here you can see the file is downloaded. Using the ls command you can see the downloaded Ventoy tar file. Now using this command you can extract the tar file. I will give the commands in the description below. Now again using the ls command you can see the extracted Ventoy directory. Now using the cd command you can go to the Ventoy directory. Now here you have to run the Ventoy GUI.x86-64 script to run the graphical interface of Ventoy. Enter your user's password. So this is the Ventoy graphical interface. Now make sure your USB drive is connected with Linux. Now you have to click on install. And now click on OK options. Now you have to wait for one or two minutes. Now you will get this message congratulation. Ventoy is installed on your device. This means your USB drive is bootable now. Now you have to just copy the ISO images into the USB drive. So here I have two ISO images Arch Linux and Windows 11. So I copied these images into the bootable USB drive. It takes some time to copy the files into the USB drive. Now my ISO images were copied into the USB drive. Now reboot your system and boot your machine from the bootable USB drive. In the BIOS setting, you have to make a USB as the first boot device. Or you can press the function key to go boot menu. In my case, F10 is the function key. Here you have to select this option. I am going with UEFI mode. Now here you can see the Ventoy menu. And here both operating system is here. Now I select the first option, Arch Linux. And here you can see it's working. Now I reboot my system again. Now press the function key to go boot menu. In my case, F10 is the function key. Here you have to select this option. I am going with UEFI mode again. Now I select the second option, Windows 11. And here you can see it's working. So that is it. This is the way how to make a multi-ISO bootable USB drive on Linux. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video.